uh, greetings YouTube. We're here at uh, East Carolina University's uh, sports complex. I'm directly on campus doing some network testing today. And I wanted to see what the uh, cell services look like on this campus because it's a very interesting setup. So let's get this in view. So basically, you know, T-Mobile is just recently starting to uh, flex its muscles, but Verizon and, and AT&T run small sales because I'm right next to the football stadium and this place gets packed out. Um, so I wanted to check and see what the potential of the network looked like. As you can see, um, magenta, dark magenta, it represents 5G, uh, 5G UC. Crimson red, dark red for Verizon, represents um, uh, ultra, capacity, uh, ultra wideband. And I wanted to check and see what the networks look like. So T-Mobile's running in standalone, N41, 100 megahertz. And the RSRP values look pretty good. Verizon on small cells in this area is very good. You're getting handed off from small cell to small cell. at and is doing the same thing. I'll get to that soon. But as you can see, band 66, uh, N77, 100 megahertz. Band two, 15 megahertz. And band 66 again, 10 megahertz. So two sets of 66, a band two, and N77 for the respective networks. So I wanted to show and see what the potential of the network looked like since I can't get here for a football game, but I can check and see what the capacity looked like or the potential capacity. So T-Mobile obviously is running all their network off of macro towers. Uh, Verizon and AT&T are doing it off of small cells and macro towers. So let's see what the potential looked like. Alrighty, so T-Mobile with 354 down and 63 up. Verizon on small sales is not super fast. I'm at 175 down and 25 up. So let's see, can I get speed test to propagate this time that got it to work So Verizon running off small cells is probably giving them the ability to be able to handle a lot more people, but the small cells are not showing a lot of extra capacity right now. T-Mobile is showing a lot of extra capacity, but we don't know what happens when the stadium is full. So it's a trade-off. Which one do you end up working towards? Being able to handle more people or add extra capacity to the whole area? That's kind of what we're looking at right now. So T-Mobile at 501 down and 64 up. Uh, Verizon 188 down and 28 up. Alrighty. Let's see what the video gives us. I think since we're on ultra wideband, we should be able to get uncapped data on video. So T-Mobile gives us 430 
megabits per second on video uncapped. Verizon is giving us uncapped also. But it, like I said, it's not a lot of extra capacity. It's probably here for just connectability. Being able to make a phone call, as some people say. All right, so since T-Mobile's running off macro towers and Verizon's running off of small cells, the network uh, should be more responsive for Verizon since the cell sites are closer. So let's see what happens. Oh, that's not good. Let's close that out and try it again. Want to give Verizon a good chance? Imperv is not working on Verizon. T-Mobile still going. Let's see, can I just do a regular speed to us? Nope. Verizon is fe uh, failing on that test. So I'm unable to test to see what the potential video and access of network look like on Verizon. Uh, it could be blocking the app. I don't see why it would, but maybe I need to do a hard reset again, but that'll be off camera. Right now, T-Mobile's at 534 down and 72 up with a 48 millisecond uh, latency. Uh, browsing 88%, streaming 96%. We were unable to see what Verizon offers at this time. So I should be able to do a download test. So let's see what the network looked like. PUBG. All right, installing over network in three, two, one, go. Twelve percent to zero. Twenty six percent to zero. T Mobile. Forty six percent to zero. Seventy five to zero, ninety three to zero. So something is restricting Verizon from doing data at this location. Um, I've been testing around the around the neighborhoods, but as soon as I get on camera, nothing, no, no good, no, no bueno. So Verizon is probably only letting data flow based on time of, I guess, time of day. So when there's a game, they probably flood it and let it run re unrestricted. That's what I'm going to presume, but I'm gonna do more testing around here. Uh, I gotta put it up against uh, AT&T and see what happens. Uh, thank y'all for watching. Like, share, and subscribe to the video if you wanna see more videos, and y'all have a good one.